Everybody in the island, right? and in the 80s and then there was a visionary uh, political um, the environmental minister he asked them he has a kind of wisdoms council so he invited you know very bright people in who have you know the engineering and the social dimension so they said how can we actually uh, push up the the innovation about renewable energy and technology and they said maybe we need to point out a place where you can count everything that goes in and everything that goes out you say the middle income you know we have a big slaughterhouse where the farmers could get cut their pigs and cows and there was a lot of people working in that factory and it has in the past been run by subsistence from the government. All right. Yeah. So they also started to um, import pigs to get slaughtered here and bring them back on the mainland. And if you looked at that, you could see it was not sustainable. Oh, really? Yeah. Unemployed. Yeah. Yeah. Unemployed. So that was a big crisis, a really big crisis in how you say the microcosmos that you know suddenly we started to say jokes last man shot the light but the christ wake up you know started a awareness kind of you had to do something yeah so suddenly they said oh renewable energy and all the farmers they didn't have any shares in it so suddenly they think oh maybe we could harvest the wind instead of harvest the potatoes oh, yeah. yeah because it's a long planning conversation, you know, where to put them because there's a lot of organization who have a lot of your knowledge how and, and we often ask people why do you think we have put the windmill south of the island instead of north of the island? And then we put them south because the north part is an old landscape who are who are Ramsai. You know, it is you are not allowed to to, to to touch it's like a conservation area yeah and that's very important because oh, it's okay. if you go up there you can see it's it's a landscape uh, designed from the ice period and the next thing we did was we said we need to make a financial strategy where that's really interesting too yeah. right because yeah. the, the ownership is shared among people in the island exactly so we went to the bank and said to the bank how can you actually, if you don't have money, but you have the, the heart for, you know, make a shift so you actually could be part of this project. How can you make the cheapest share and how could that benefit uh, if you don't have the money on your account? So actually I bought 100 shares in, the off in, the, in one of the projects onshore and I rented the money for seven years 
and now I still benefit so I, I earn money every year not a lot of money but you know, way, uh, yeah, but and then when I drive in the land in the in the society and when I talk about the project, I have a totally different you know agenda because I'm part of it. Yeah, you feel even it's, even you feel you're part of yeah, it. yeah yeah even I just go you know <laughs> a a, small bit <laughs> yeah 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 so so I think that's also one of the you know it's actually one of the keys into. Succeed and, the, uh, and the, uh, the ferry, you know, how to do it. So, the new plans, you could say, we started in 1997 and we should be finished in 2007. And we completed, but, you know, we have picked up the lowest hanging fruit on proven technology. So, what's going to be difficult now is that we actually shall started to learn how to pick the highest fruit. I see. And it's the yeah. same and challenge. Which is, which is the highest? This is transportation. Transportation, yeah, that's, that's a hard big term. Yeah, because there's a lot of interest in gasoline contra electric cars. Oh, yeah. And you, I can see it, I've just been in Brussels where we get an award where Nissan asked us to promote their car and I was like, how strange. And I asked them, why are you don't have this car in part of the euro and he said yeah we are not into the market but we're trying to come into the market so suddenly I could feel the electric car will you know be a big issue in but what yeah in the future but now the question is who shall pay who should pay for the for the for the developer of, uh, of the electric yeah, car yeah 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 so that's that's and the old company of course not very happy with that. no 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 so to look at the lowest hanging fruit and the fourth where we have made.